Hello everyone, my name's Elir2 and welcome to my Let's Play of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness with the HPM mod. Yes, so as you can see up in the title, you know exactly what we're doing. Ooh, yeah, that's right. We're doing Canada. Okay, here's the thing, guys. So, uh, to get Canada, obviously, as a free nation, you have to play as the United Kingdom, release them. But the problem is, in the HPM mod, right, Canada is only Northern Ontario and Upper Canada, which is right here, just in the Great Lakes. You have Quebec, the Maritime Union, Newfoundland, Rupert's Lynn, Medi Confederation, and, Colum and Columbia. So I just decided, I, I first thought, Oh, I'm just going to release them, then we can have a big ba battle royale. But that kind of fell through because alliances started happening with great powers. It just wasn't a good idea. So instead, I released all of them and then gave Canada all the land through a uh, console command. So I hope you guys, guys don't hate me for that. But uh, that's just how it's going to have to happen. So let us begin as Canada. With 433,000 people, that's a pretty good amount. I mean, we're already stretching from sea to si shining sea. Unlike someone down here. Speaking of which, America. So, for some reason, the AI allied with both the United Kingdom and the United States. Don't ask how. We also own Northern New England and Washington State. So, that's kind of awkward. But, uh, we're just going to have to deal with that. Now, there are going to be little armies right here. Yeah, 12,000 Colombians. And, oh, that actually is about it. Colombia should be gone, right? It's weird how they're not. But uh, we don't even have cores over all this land. You guys didn't know. Yep, no, no cores. Now, French Canadians are accepted. Is it... Yeah, we are limited citizenship. And we are a constitutional monarchy. Yeah, we're pretty damn liberal. So, we might get a ton of immigrants, which is fantastic for Canada. And uh, so, let us begin. So, we're getting some bureaucrats going. Got a bit of money. Let's make sure we got lots of that. And uh, turn down taxes. Yeah, screw taxes. Who needs them? Uh, we can go down to, say, 50%. No, let's say 70% ta uh, taxes for the lower class. Because screw them. All right. And what's our population like? So, mostly Anglo-Canadian. Anglo with a bit with a lot of French-Canadian, as expected. Lots of Native American miners. Cree, Irish. Metis, which is a combination of um, Europeans and Natives. Yankee, which is American, and Other. I wonder what the Other is. Odd. But yeah, so we are pretty safe to colonize in our own land. I don't believe, yeah, we're totally secured in normal Canada. Uh, we have up to six able to mobilize. That's pretty damn good. Now, America, America, America. We, hopefully by the end of the game, we can totally destroy America. Because everyone knows that is the dream of Canada. Is to destroy America. We all know it, Canadians. You don't have to hide it. We know we, you want us dead. We know it. Don't pretend. Don't pretend, alright. But, um... We're probably getting influenced by America right now, aren't we? Yep. That's not a good thing. That would, That's gonna suck. But, yeah, hopefully we can start getting... Oh my god, we're getting 2,000 immigrants. We're getting more immigrants than America. <laughs> Mostly British, I might add. Mostly British. And they're colonizing a bunch. They're probably gonna... Actually, I believe they will get uh, Oregon in an event. So that's going to be kind of cool to see. Texas is going to be a band? No, no, I forgot. In uh, this mod, Texas is a bit different. Just a little bit different. Uh, so, my God, we're getting so many people. How many? Are these all Irish? Yeah, they're all Irish. I think all these Irishmen are just running away from Britain right now. Yeah, no, there's huge amount of Irish that's coming up. You can see it right there. 14% Irish. Holy shit. Some of these areas. A little bit ridiculous, guys. A little bit ridiculous. 385 people moving there. 36% British. Holy shit. What about this? Look at that. It's already almost half Irish. Look at how many people are moving there. Oh my god. We're going to become an Irish nation. We're going to be more Irish than British. Already 11% Irish. Holy shit. Southern Quebec is the largest um, state so far. 5% Irish. Oh my god. Oh, that is great. Ascension of Queen Victoria. How awesome. 
And, uh, wow, I'm surprised we don't have enough, um, soldiers. Enough people to get more soldiers. Weird. How many soldiers do we have? Uh, we have enough to get three. Oh, oh there you go. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get an artillery. Why not? Lose militancy. Yeah, who needs militancy in Canada? We're Canada. We're the Canuckiest. Old Canuckistan. Uh, Texas is freed, as expected. So... I decided I wanted to take over Haiti. Would the United States help? Oh, we're not allies. Well, we should be. Come on, US. You want to be allies with me. Why wouldn't you? We'll always be allies. The best of friends. I mean, unless you decide you want to declare war on me. Then then we wouldn't be the best of friends. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. You know what? Justify and conquer Haiti. Why not? We might get caught, like, immediately, but it doesn't really matter. We're Canada. Who can hate us? And we'll just make the Americans do all the hard work. Like always. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I just insulted some Canadians right there. Wait, where's Westminster? You know what? Instead, I just want to make sure we're uh, in the East Coast. So, let's go ahead and build in Quebec. So I know that's on the East Coast. We're, we'll build three. Why not? And Quebec will be... Oh, we got caught. Quebec will be our main staging area, and of course, Ontario is going, or Bytown. Is it called Bytown? Byton? I thought it was Ontario. That's Toronto. Man, I don't know Canada at all. <sighs> Rye, I know you might be watching this. I am so sorry. Um, oh, hey, FRCA is getting freed. Cool. All right, you will be mine, sweet little Haiti. Hey, we have Frenchies up here, too, so we can speak to each other. I mean, you're in Creole, but still, it's basically the same thing, right? Right, right. I know someone got, just got pissed off at that. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I know it's different. By the way, our armies are British. Because everyone knows Canada is British. It is. It's not even its own free country. It's, it's a Commonwealth country, you filthy Brits. Get out of my North America. We're still allied? No. Come on. Stay my ally, damn it. Conquer them. If we called them in, would they join? They still wouldn't accept. Well, it's a damn good thing we have this, then. Yeah, you know what? We can go ahead and mobilize. Why not? Uh, Southern Quebec integration. I don't think we should have to. We already have them as an accepted culture, so... Should be alright. All right here, you guys go help out in any way you can. You know what? Let's go ahead and declare war on Haiti. No one's friendly with them. No one's allied with them. They're all alone. How incredibly sad. How incredibly, incredibly sad. All right, let's get down there. Canada's first of many conquests. Everyone knows Canada is actually a warmongering nation. They will kill us all. They will. I tell you, they will kill us all. Oh, look, we can get another soldier. Cool. And let's go back up. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, pick them up. I'm surprised we can mobilize so much. What, what mobilization are we at? Ah, two-year draft. It's a pretty good amount, I'd say. Pretty good. We're not going to get any immigrants this way since we are now at war, which is unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. Here, you two. Get up there. Get up to Quebec. All right, and send them to the main army. And you guys group up as well. You know what? Stop being an idiot. Stop going in the middle of the ocean, okay? Okay. I know you Canadians don't understand how to, you know, sail a ship. Oh, I'm shitting on Canada so much. I'm so sorry if you're Canadian. Well, oh, God, what am I apologizing like a Canadian? <sighs> Canadian. Anyways. All right, more reactionaries and liberals. How nice. Uh, looks like we might need to tariff a bit. All right, tariff uh, 20%. Why not? Get a bit of money flowing. And we slaughter the Haitians, as expected. All right. Hey, land. All right, cool. Oh, you know what? We don't even have... No, we do have a naval base. Why are you guys dying, then? That's weird. Here, go and land. Since we now have staging ground, it'll be much easier to uh, take over Haiti. I mean, it's not like it wasn't easy. We already destroyed their entire navy, so it's not like they're just, like, 
fighting hard. They're not. It's very simple to win. Haiti is like the weakest country in the, in the Americas. So they're like the easiest to take over. It's kind of sad, really. Look at that. We can already get a lot more soldiers. Good. This is going to give us 10 prestige, which is always very nice. What do we need for the Mounties, huh? Wait. The acquisition of Rupert's land in Northwest Territories has become increasingly obvious that the new forces are required to patrol these lands and keep order. Ah, so they are the Mounties. So Edson and Revolution, Counter-Revolution. We gain 11 life rating. Wow. The incorporation of Brighton. Ah, then it's Ottawa. It's called Ottawa. That's the capital of Canada. Yep, I'm smart. Anyways, uh, new life in the new world. That's going to be important. And we want the Native Protection Act because then we can get Metis, Cree, and Native American Minor as an accepted culture. And we have a lot of those, so we're going to want them. All right, Maritime, Maritimes, Maritimes, however the fuck you pronounce that. Let's get you next. And there you go. Haiti will surrender. Good. Ah, Canadian Haiti. As it was always meant to be. And we got a lot more population from this as well. Hispaniola has... We basically doubled our freaking population. <sighs> oh my god. Alright. Caribbean. Afro Antillian. And let's get a Hussar. Here. Go all the way down to Port au Prince. That's going to be the main staging ground. Alright. We lost the effects of war. Good. Now my migrants. Ah. Some are running away to the uh, US. That's not a good thing. Why not just stay in glorious Canada? Glorious Kanakistan. We are far superior anyways to those filthy Americans. All right. And, oh, yes. There's the population I've been waiting for. Look at all these Afro-Antillians and Afro-Latinos now. Oh, God. We have begun the Canadian Empire. We will spread like the plague. Oh, my God. How many people can you be allied to, Colombia? Jesus Christ. And Texas is allied with the United Kingdom. Yeah, that makes sense. That's logical. And now... Yeah, let's go to Newfoundland. Start uh, getting some more bureaucrats. We already have too many there. Fine, Hispaniola. Get some bureaucrats. Labor spies? I don't care. Let's decrease some militancy. Ooh, lots of militancy, huh? Yeah, commence Métis, Dominicans, and Haitians. Uh, okay. <laughs> the Métis are actually trying to rise up uh funny all right so with hot blast finished uh we should probably go more military all right let's get universal voting oh no i should have gotten all cultural rights allowed a lot more assimilation rate and a lot of immigration traction that's a good thing it's a very nice thing all right we're not getting as many uh, immigrants now how incredibly sad not many people running away yep we get about as many as um many people as uh, America, which is pretty impressive to be honest. All right, hot blast is finished. Let's go ahead and get muzzle loaded rifles. They'll be nice. All right, get interventionalism. Right, it's got some railroads going. I wonder how many capitalists? How many capitalists does Canada have? A couple hundred. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Don't have all this all, all that uh much money, but we will invest in some projects help build up the famous Canadian industry. Uh, we just wasted all that money on uh, not a Hispaniola clipper shipyard. That is the biggest waste of money I have ever seen the AI do. All right, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get some intellectuals going. They're going to be more important right now. Oh, looks like we're getting some more immigrants. Ho, 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 ho. Very nice. How many? Oh, only a couple hundred. That's a good amount either way. Still, some running away to Colombia. Why Colombia? I don't know. It's Colombia. I always wondered, how do people run away from Luxembourg? If it's a landlocked nation, they have to move to a different country. And then they move to America. Oh, we're getting more than the United States. Holy shit. Probably because of uh, slavery. How much does slavery decrease it? Uh, allowed slavery... Out, well, outlawed only increases it by 1%. I feel like it should increase it by a lot more, but who am I to judge, you know? Who am I to judge? Yo, can I get some more regular clothes? People, people, place, thing. Stop automating and confirm trade. Come on. Get me some clothing. Please and thank you. All right, some lots of intellectuals. We need to get at least 2%. 2%. 
Lots of rails. Roads on rails. Yes, that is correct. Roads on rails. Oh, you see? Canadian Washington. Ooh, that's pretty weird. See, now they're getting steamer shipyards. We had access to steamer shipyards, yet they decided, oh no, we're going to build clippers in Hispaniola. Well, we'll, where we'll have no people to work. Yeah. Yeah, that's the genius of Canadian ingenuity right there, kids. <laughs> we even have one in Minnesota. Why did they build a factory in Minnesota? No one lives in Minnesota, actually. Do people live in Minnesota? Yeah, lots of Anglo-Canadians now. Probably because of the uh, immigration. Lots of immigration. Look at all the British there. Oh my god. Look, the, the, the Irish have huge pockets here. We're probably more Irish than Ireland. I mean, Ireland isn't even a fucking thing, but we have all these Irish. What's the population of Irish now? Well, it's 9%, but we just gained all those afro Antillians and uh, Carabinos. So, a lot. We have a lot of them. Oh my god, look at all the French Canadians. We have more British people than Anglo-Canadians. Now, that's kind of weird. That is pretty weird. At least in that province. Come on! Oh, wait. Oh, there you go. We got some clothing. Sweet. Now we're buy buying way too many. Uh, stop it. Uh, Re-automate. Thank you. All right. Cool. Uh, keep buying some. Ooh, we've lost our tariff efficiency, which means America has sphered us. Yep. Yay, America. Well, if you're going to sphere us, you might as well ally with us. You sons of bitches. All right. Looks like the UFCA... Or FRCA, I'm sorry, UFCA? The FRCA has totally fallen apart. Maybe we should take this opportunity to go annex them. 8,070, 39, 120. Looks like Honduras is the best. Might as well go conquer them. And we will save scum, of course. Of course we're going to save scum. We're going to create a whole empire. A whole Canadian empire. And it will be glorious. Glorious indeed. We will spread poutine and moose throughout the world. All right, we got caught. So let, uh, so just uh, give me one second. I'll see you guys in just one second. All right, you guys. So we got 0. 0.6 infamy from them. That's all right. And we get a new reform. Uh, we want all rights allowed. Good. So we got a lot more uh, immigration. And let's go ahead, pick up these guys. Send them over to Honduras. Now they're allied with Mexico. Uh-oh. Well, they only have four brigades, which is pretty damn good, to be honest. Maybe we can, like, annex Yucatan. Oh, my God. We are so cancerous. <laughs> we're just going to annex as much as possible, you know? Well, they're allied to Costa Rica, but, um, uh, well, that means we're not going to be able to annex Costa Rica. How incredibly sad. So, yeah, at war with America. Uh, not America. Mexico. Hey, America, you want to join? Thank you, America. You're a lamb. That just means America's going to take a lot longer to um, annex the uh, Canadian lands. So that's pretty good. It's a win-win for us. Well, a win-win. Uh, a win just for us. All right. And we can get a lot more Anglo-Canadians. Sweet. And, but we still want those Afro-Antillians. So we got one more of those. Actually, I'm sorry. We have 202. Yeah, 202. So we're building one more so we could build so that's 302, 402, 1, 2, 3, and a Hussar. And that'll be our full army. Nice. A full army of Canadians ready to kill. Yep. Yep. Canadians. Canadians ready to kill. That's... That sounds weird. All right, uh, Canada. I'm oh, not Canada. Mexico is the war leader in this. Oh, poor Mexico. You poor, poor bastards. Uh, they're actually allied with France. Holy shit. Okay, France. You, uh, you do you, I guess. All right, let's pick them up. Go over here. Send this guy over. All right, you know what? We should build a real navy. So. Eh, it doesn't matter where. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There. Seven more ships, so we can transport a whole army. And there we go. Uh, lose militancy, please. All right. And there we go. So now you guys 
can unite with the rest of the navy up here when this inevitably inevitably builds. All right. Uh, can we? Oh, right. We can't separate peace in this because we're not the war leader and they're not the war leader. So we have to peace out. America has to peace out with can not Canada with Honduras. Why did I constantly say Canada? Every country is Canada. We are all Canada. We are one. Uh, looks like oh Costa Rica peaced out. Nice. All right, got muzzle loaded rifles. Let's go ahead and get medicine so we can get more population because more population is always nice. Who are they all going to? Ah, uh, Colombia is getting all the immigrants now. Oh, good luck, uh, Colombia. Oh, sweet, America landed. Nice. That's nice. And um, let's go ahead and do this base upper house now based off population. As the way it should be. All right, go kill these guys. Great. All right. Muzzle loaded rifle ar armament has finished. So we are nice and strong. All right, there you go. And they've surrendered. Nice. So we should be able to add, you know, if we can get over there, we might be able to like annex Yucatan or something. America's not, not letting them surrender. Uh-oh. Canada, you might be totally fucked. Not Why did I say Canada? Mexico, you might be totally fucked here. Look at that. We're in 12th place already. That's the power of conquering, man. That is the power of Canada. Glorious, glorious power of Canada. All right, let's go ahead and land here. And come on. Keely, keely. Stabby, stabby. Land. Pick up. I know this is a good way to lose soldiers, but it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. We don't need them anyway. Oh, I hope these guys don't die. Eh, whatever. They'll be fine. It's all okay, eh? Uh, America, are you, um... You gonna end this war soon? Here, let's go ahead and do... Trade unions! We might want to do, um... Uh... Debt law next, I think. You know what? Le oh my god, how many allies can you get, Guatemala? Jesus, fuck. Uh, Nicaragua, should they be next? I mean, they're allied with all these people. Guatemala, El Salvador, Colombia. Allied with Nicaragua. You actually have more population, too. Wow, okay. Okay, we'll, we'll annex El Salvador next, I guess. Yeah, they're actually cordial with the United States right now, so we've got to hurry up. All right, you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so... Canada is spreading its wings and flying. The United States will help us spread our Canadianism throughout the world and beyond. We will make everyone apologize for not being Canadian. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Elir Tune. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.